Is there anybody out there who still doubt that the Beatles were and are even now the greatest musical force the world has ever known or ever will know? Well, right now in 2019, in the early October of, the, of this year, we find out that their new 50th anniversary Abbey Road re-release for an album that was released 50 years ago and a band that's been defunct for 50 years ago and two band members have passed away is now number one. That's number one on the UK album charts. We haven't yet, as of this video, found out what the US Billboard chart's going to be for the new Abbey Road 50th, but I wager it's going to be about the same. Now, I want to quote something here for those people out there, and there are a few people who believe this, who believe that, you know, the Beatles are so from yesterday, and they're so your dad's or granddad's music. Where do you hear this report that has just been issued by Forbes? Forbes gives us very interesting information. Okay, it says, and I'm quoting, As the Beatles' Abbey Road 50th Anniversary Edition starts to climb the charts, New streaming statistics reveal, for the first time, how the band is appealing to a younger audience. The 1960s group has had 1.7 billion Spotify streams this year so far. That's billion with a B. The age group streaming the music is not the baby boomers that fueled Beatlemania, but rather two generations removed, including many teenagers. The figures prove the enduring appeal of the still fresh songs and ensure that the money machine of the most successful musical act in history will continue. Pre-orders mean that Abbey Road reissue, which came out uh, in late September, will surely follow the chart-topping success of the 50th anniversary reissues of the Beatles' White Album from 2018 and Sgt. Pepper's Only Hearts Club Band from 2017. Now get this. Spotify research shows that of the 1.7 billion streams, 18 to 24 year olds account for more than 30%, that's 30% of Beatles listening this year, the largest share among all demographics. After that, 25 to 29 year olds come in next with more than 17% of the Beatles listening. So that's 47% uh, of the listening of Beatles on uh, streaming is from the ages of 18 to 29. That's not your dad or your granddad. <laughs> Both of these generations behind the main audience were born after the British Quartet was at the, the height of its international success. The best-selling band in history has shifted more than 800 million albums worldwide. That's pretty amazing and uh, I, you know I've always said that, that the appeal of the Beatles is that their music is timeless, that uh, newer generations continue to discover them all the time. Oh, sure, if you walk down a, a high school, your average uh, school, many people won't even be able to name all four Beatles. Many kids are not really interested. But when you take them worldwide and you realize you're getting a big, healthy chunk of people who still continue to carry the flame and continue to enjoy this amazing group. That continues to delight and touch people five decades after they stopped making music. So, I think it's pretty interesting. I'll continue a few little tidbits here. It says, uh, Here Comes the Sun, one of George Harrison's compositions on Abbey Road, is the most streamed song on Spotify globally with more than 350 million streams. It's amazing to me. We've known that for some time. Here Comes the Sun has become the biggest Beatles song. It says the go-to song for 18 to 24-year-olds on Spotify is actually even older than that, the song yesterday. Uh, and of course, that probably has something to do with the movie that came out. But uh, Spotify also says uh, 25 to 29-year-olds chose John Lennon's Come Together, also off Abbey Road. Top choice of 30 to 34-year-olds is I Want to Hold Your Hand. While 35 to 44-year-olds like McCartney's Blackbird. Um, just absolutely amazing. Uh, what can you say, folks? Uh, I just had to say this. I had to bring this up. Uh, this is, this is great information here. And there continues to be people out there that'll cite 
the one or two people here and there between the cracks that uh, don't know anything about the Beatles. Or they go, oh, no, nobody, nobody young is interested in the Beatles. Ah, this disproves that nonsense. Can't wait to see uh, how high uh, Abbey Road gets on the U.S. charts anytime now. 